I'm considering planting an hibiscus in my yard. Which hibiscus variety should I buy if I wanted to survive the winter here in zone seven? And this is from Karen Natoka. Your neck of the woods, Jolly. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's, a, there's quite a, a variety to choose from. I know that there's a, a seed form that, that's called a Dixie Bell mix that you can plant, and that's perennial. Okay. Um, and then there's lots of different varieties. There's one that's really, really hardy. It's the most Utos variety, yeah. and that's really hardy everywhere, and that's a very tall hibiscus. Uh, so, and you, they usually are red and different forms of red and sizes of flowers, but uh, there's a wide variety of them and I would seriously consider not getting anything that has a really woody stem. Hmm. Really, really woody stems usually, and, and they'll just be one stem out of the container. Those are usually tropical and those are not going to live. What you're going to look for is something that's got multi stems coming out from the base and that's most likely going to be perennial coming from the base of the plant that's underground. Okay. Yep, I agree. And one that I really like that is really hardy in this neck of the woods is the Texas star huh. hibiscus. Okay. The hibiscus coccineus. You know, and it's really hard. It's got these really, it looks like a Japanese maple leaves, and it has the big, you know, pretty red, uh -huh. solid red, gorgeous blooms. But she's right, there are so many different, yes. you know, varieties out there because I was up in Middle Tennessee a few weeks ago, and it must have been the season for disco bells and the others. <laughs> I mean, I just about ran off the road. They were, I mean, y'all, they're like dinner plate. Right. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, so there's a lot, Proven Winners has a whole uh -huh. line of them out. So there's a lot of choices out there. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have hundreds more. To subscribe, just click below.